pastor at noon last Tuesday. It was very hot outside. That much I remember. I saw Susan walking her dogs. She was wearing a long summer dress. I think the dress was yellow, but I can't remember. Some children down the block had busted a fire hydrant open to cool off. They were running around on the street. The children seemed very happy. I was transfixed by this scene, overcome by wonder. I wanted to be young like those children. I wanted to run, to stretch my legs, to feel that burning sensation in the back of my throat, to feel tired. I remember this desire vividly. So I began to run. I ran from my house to Marcus's house a few blocks away. But I grew tired quickly. It was unpleasant. I stopped and walked home. On Wednesday, I didn't leave my house at all. I watched Susan walk her dogs from a window in my bedroom. I remembered that she was looking particularly beautiful. She was wearing a large straw sun hat with a pink belt. I was naked. I was masturbating. Not because of any sexual attraction to Susan, uh, but just because I was bored. I looked for a while at my penis. I decided that I would take a shower. It was just too hot, and I felt that a shower would make me feel any better. I knew I had neglected to take my medication yesterday, so I made sure to take my medication today. Of that, I am absolutely certain. I tried to fall asleep at about 10 p.m. I couldn't. I tried, but I couldn't. I squeezed my eyes shut tight for about an hour, but for the life of me, I just couldn't fall asleep. I decided to go for a walk, to clear my head, you know? I walked past Susan's house. I looked in the window and I saw Susan. She was sitting in a chair. She was holding a book that I didn't recognize. She was wearing a dark blue nightgown. I remember wondering if she was actually reading. I think she looked distracted, like she was trying to remember something. Something was hurting her. Was she upset? Was everything okay? Everything was quiet. I looked at her through the window. Susan was beautiful. I couldn't take my eyes off of her. I tried, but I couldn't. I don't remember walking back to my house. I woke up in bed at about 3.44 a.m. and I heard a loud sound coming from outside in the street. I was in the middle of having an odd dream. It was the kind of dream that seems real. But it was the kind of dream you don't want to be real. I didn't want to know what it was. I remember wondering if Susan was hurt. I don't know why I wondered that. I saw the dark blue nightgown. I felt very anxious. I tried to sleep. In the morning, I woke up early and made breakfast. I realized that I neglected to eat yesterday, so I made sure to eat that. Of that, I am absolutely certain thought a lot about Susan. I wanted to see her walk her dog, so I went outside and sat on the front steps for two hours. Susan never walked by. Why hadn't she walked by, I kept asking myself. I couldn't figure it out. I thought about it for two hours. I started feeling really crummy. My head was pounding and it was difficult to breathe. I cried for a while. People stared. Susan didn't walk by. Susan didn't walk by for weeks. The summer had left and Marcus moved away. To Oregon, I think, someplace really far. The children didn't go the streets anymore. They were always at school, learning about history and math and science and literature. Kids are always learning. I remember when I went to school, I was never a very good student. I didn't pay attention, and I couldn't remember my homework assignments. My teacher, Mrs. Huber, told me that I needed to focus. I didn't even know what the word focus meant back then, so I, I didn't. Where did Susan go? I missed her so much. I missed Marcus, I missed the children. I was alone. I woke up sweating in the middle of the night. I think I was getting sick. The time on my clock was wrong. 
He said it was 4.12 a.m., but I knew it was earlier. I went to the kitchen to get some ice from the freezer because I thought the ice would help cool me down. I remember seeing Susan in the kitchen, but I'm not absolutely certain. I realized that I hadn't taken my medication in a while. So I took my medication, and then I tried to go to sleep. But I stayed up all night. I kept hearing noises coming from downstairs. I couldn't stop thinking about Susan. The sunrise was lovely. I felt really good that day, even though I didn't sleep. And I didn't feel sick anymore. But the noises from the night before continued. I think the noises were coming from the cellar. I didn't like going into the cellar. I don't even remember the last time I went down there. I just ignored the noises. I went shopping for the first time in a while. I bought fresh fruit, some vegetables, pasta, cookies, and a new toothbrush. But I forgot to refill my prescription. I can always do that tomorrow. It was dark when I got home. My clock said it was 9 or 4 p.m., but I knew that was wrong. I don't remember the last time I set my clocks. The noises from the cellar continued, but they were faint now. I ate dinner in the dark. I had cereal because I forgot my groceries at the store, too. I could always get them tomorrow. A powerful odor woke me up in the middle of the night, but I didn't even remember falling asleep. The smell filled my bedroom. The smell was rotting. I felt like the smell was creeping into my body. I vomited because of the smell. The smell was coming from the cellar, but I couldn't bring myself to go down there. The smell haunted me. The noises returned in the morning and louder than ever. It sounded like shouting, and I think I heard scratching and barking. I tried to take my medication, but I realized I forgot to refill the prescription. There were a lot of people outside my house. Did they hear the noises too? I heard sirens getting louder and louder. As the sirens got louder, so did the noises in the cell. My heart was pounding. I really needed to take my medication. I felt alone without my medication. I began to shiver. I couldn't breathe. I felt dizzy. I felt a funny feeling in my stomach. My penis was tingling, but I don't know why. I heard people talking. I shivered that whip. I felt very anxious, but I don't know why. I felt very afraid of that one. I was knocking at the door. I heard knocking at my door. I heard people shouting outside. I heard the sirens wail. I heard the cries from the cellar. I heard 